Compass Publishing. Hello, teachers and hello, students. Welcome to Compass Publishing's Reading Skill Go series. Now, teachers, as a reminder, we want to make sure we have all of our templates, documents, and teachers' guides already prepared before the episode actually starts. You can find all of our downloadable materials in the link in the description box below. Now, are you guys ready to start our show? Reading skill go. A letter to Roberto. I am Brian. I am writing a letter to Roberto. He is my new pen pal. Hmm. What can I write? The date is first. Then I write a greeting. The body is next. I write my name. I write where I live. I write more. There are four people in my family. I'm in second grade. I go to Seattle Elementary School. I like to play sports. I am on the soccer team. Tell me about your city in Mexico. How many people are in your family? What sports do you play in Mexico? Ah, the closing is next. I put the letter in an envelope. I write our addresses. I put a stamp on the envelope, and I close. Wait! I put my picture in the envelope too. I mail the letter. I hope Roberto writes back. Now, wasn't that a wonderful, fun story we just read? Now that we finished reading our story together in class. Let's go ahead and talk about the skill we're going to learn for this story. Now, in this story, we know that our main character Brian is writing a letter to his pen pal Roberto. Now, a pen pal is going to be someone, a friend that you write letters to. They can live very, very close, or they can live very, very far away. Before we actually learn how to write a letter, let's go ahead and learn the vocabulary words for this story. Now there are four vocabulary words that were part of this story. The first word was date. Can everyone please repeat after me? Date. Good. Now the date is going to tell the day and the month. That the letter is going to be written. Now you can also add the year if you want. Now remember, students, this is the first part of a letter is the date. The second vocabulary word is going to be greeting. Everyone, please repeat after me: greeting. Now in the greeting, this is going to be the opening part of the letter. This is where we say to our friend, "Hello." You can use many different words for the greeting. You can use "dear," "hello," or even "hi." Now remember, this is going to be the opening part of our letter. The third vocabulary word we learned today is "body." Everyone, please repeat after me: "body." Now, in the body of a letter, this is the main part of the letter itself. We can talk about our friends, 
We can talk about our family, we can talk about our school, and we can ask questions to our friends. This part of the letter is called the body. Now, the fourth vocabulary word is going to be called the closing. Everyone, please repeat after me. Closing. Now, in a letter, the closing part is the end of the letter. This is where we tell our friend or pen pal bye or we'll see them next time or write them again later to it too. Once again, the last part of the letter is called the closing. So let's review all of our four vocabulary words we learned for today. Number one was date. Number two was greeting. Number three was body. And number four was closing. Now that we've learned our vocabulary words, Let's see if you can answer a few questions. Question 1. What is the main part of a letter called? A. Closing B. Date C. Greeting D. Body Number 2. What is the ending part of a letter called? A. Closing B. Date C. Greeting D. Body Number 3. What do we call the month and day? A. Closing B. Date C. Greeting D. Body Number 4. What is written at the beginning part of a letter? A. Closing B. Date C. Greeting D. Body Now, students, let's see how well you did. The answers are 1. D. Body 2. A. Closing 3. B. Date 4. C. Greeting Excellent job, students! Now that we've read our story together and we've learned and practiced all of our vocabulary words, it's now your turn to write your own letter. Now think very hard about who you want to write your letter to. Now teachers, at this time, Please make sure that every student receives a template of our letter provided for you in our downloadable sections. If you have any questions, please refer to our teacher's guide. For additional tips and strategies, you can refer to our Your Turn and Question Bank sections. Now don't forget to utilize our Share Time section too by allowing all of your students to share the letters in class together. Well, students and teachers, thank you for your time. I had a great time with you, and I hope you had a good time too. We'll see you next time. Hello everyone, thank you for watching Reading Skill Go. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe below. If you're looking for more information about any of our greater readers or other Compass Publishing titles, please visit us at compasspub.com or check us out on any of our social networking sites. And of course, you are always welcome to any types of comments down below too. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.